You know, when I uh, grew up, uh, my father had a very big role to play in what I did. Uh, he decided on the games I played, he decided on the engineering I did, uh, he decided on the movies we went, he decided on the, you know, whatever we're going to have for dinner or lunch. He decided. I tried to do that in my house with my children. And uh, they told me the fact, in terms of the fact that you're not a decision maker anymore. So I was still a dad. And they called me dad, but my role changed from commanding to influencing their thinking around drugs, sex, what they should be doing. But all decisions which my father took, in my children's case, my children took. I did not take. I had a vote. One is to four. We are a four-member family, but I couldn't decide. My view on HR is the same, that your role is dramatically going to change. My concern with HR is like dads, they're not seeing it coming. I did not see it coming. I thought I've given birth to a child and I own the child. And therefore the child better follow what I did because I followed what my father did. But the world has changed. So I'm predicting, my predicting is that whichever, whatever you are doing right now as HR executive, which is managing, aggregating, counting, is going to be dead. There are going to be better ways, smarter ways, cheaper ways to do that. And therefore, the aspects of what you are saying, motivating, inspiring, uh, organizing in a different way, bringing about cultural transformation, thinking, applying mind, is going to be in fashion. And that is the time the question will be asked is, how many people can do it? How many people are transitioning their capabilities, skills, thinking, from just managing and aggregating into inspiring and liberating an organization away from the clutches of the past, clutches of hierarchy, into an inspired organization which runs at a completely different clock speed. If you take HCL, in 2005, when I had an opportunity of leading HCL, the transformation of HCL from $1.2 billion market cap to $20 billion market cap was purely based on employee inspiration. Employee first, customer second was an idea of the fact that if you motivate the employees, the employees will deliver 10 times better with the same product, the same service, the same customer, the same market. It was a very simple principle. It was an HR-led idea. An HR-led idea created a 20 times or 19 times multiple on a market cap. So we are going to be in search for more such ideas. We're going to be less enamored by the aggregators and managers and more enamored by inspiring leaders who can transform cultures and get people to deliver more.